traditionally, you know, you apply for grants and, and you write a proposal and, and they give a certain amount of money. This particular uh, competition is very different. They look for people, the quality of people. They want to find the best uh, and scientists ever. So it's a people-driven funding. And so because of that, they, they, they give you freedom to explore. They trust, presumably, these scientists would uh, use the funding to the best that they can and to be very creative. And I think that's the thing. They, they want the investigate to break new ground and discover new things. I have been studying disease uh, in this case and, and um, specifically how plants become susceptible. Okay, so it's kind of simple question, but we actually don't know very much about it. But exciting um, uh, that we found in the last 18 years or so at Michigan State is that a lot of uh, mechanisms that these pathogens, so we study bacterial pathogens, they actually use the same weapon that human pathogens use to, mm -hmm. to attack us, right? So there are um, very exciting conceptual parallels between uh, bacteria that cause disease in plants, like Arabidopsis, and disease that cause uh, plague or uh, diarrhea and you know these nasty bugs. These bacteria uh, once go into the plant tissue, they 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 infect plants, right? So how they do it? Uh, one of the central mechanisms we figured out is that these bacteria are very tiny little thing. Uh, they actually make a, 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 a syringe. It's like a, a needle syringe to inject proteins into plant cell, and this process is very important. Um, because if you knock out that syringe, the bacteria will not cause disease. The same process was used by um, human pathogens to inject stuff into our cell, cause disease in our, our body. And so that's a central theme that we, we want to study how this works, how these proteins that are injected into the uh, plant or human cell function to modulate the disease process. So one of the things we find out is that most of these proteins actually suppress immune response. So we have this immune response to defend, right? So we're healthy, <laughs> you know? So most uh, of us are fine, and you know, if you have get a little bacteria, you will defend it yourself. Um, but these patients have uh, evolved to overcome that kind of defense. And so when that happens, we get sick. Plants get sick. And so what we want to find out is, is how they do it, because that's the only way you were able to stop it.